On June 27, 1951, the world of television was black and white. Families gathered around small screens to watch their favorite shows in shades of gray, completely unaware that they were about to witness a revolution. But behind the scenes, a new kind of camera was warming up. This wasn't a sleek, modern piece of tech. It was a massive, clunky machine developed by CBS, and it used a bizarre secret weapon to create color a spinning mechanical wheel filled with red, green, and blue filters. That day, CBS aired a special program called Premiere. It was a variety show featuring some of the biggest stars of the era, like Ed Sullivan and Groucho Marx. But for the very few who had the special color-compatible sets, the picture was blurry, the colors were strange, and it looked nothing like the crisp black and white they were used to. The biggest problem? It was incompatible. This new color broadcast couldn't be viewed on existing black and white TVs. If you didn't have one of the special and very expensive new sets, you saw nothing but a garbled mess. The experiment was a commercial failure, and after just a few weeks, CBS pulled the plug on its color system. But the dream of color wasn't dead. A few years later, rival company RCA developed a new, all-electronic system. It was fully compatible, meaning you could watch the broadcast in color on a new set, or in black and white on your old one. This was the system that would finally succeed. And so, from that first blurry, spinning wheel, the world of television exploded into color. It's a reminder that every amazing technology we enjoy today, like the stunning 4K screens in our pockets, started as a bold and sometimes clumsy first step. The journey from a blurry mechanical wheel to the stunning high-definition screens we hold in our hands is a powerful reminder that our modern world wasn't built in a day, but one colorful frame at a time.